Thank you very much to Rikel, to the Institute for giving me this award and for inviting me here today. I must first confess that I argued strongly that this award was a bit premature and that it should be given maybe a few years later when I'd accomplished something more than I have now. Perhaps I was eligible in the field of banking, but I left that anyway. So I, by that I left eligibility. But in any event, uh, now that I'm here, as I've said publicly before, I'm very privileged to be with such distinguished fellow awardees. Institutions are built by people, but most people come and go. So really what perpetuates is a culture, a culture of perseverance, a culture of values that people leave behind during the time they shape the institution. REC Trichy as it was then has probably an exemplary and unique record that having been initiated only in 1964, within a couple of decades it was churning out such great talent as many of the people you see here today. For me, uh, coming to REC was a big transition in my life. I had only ever studied in very niche uh, schools with very elite uh, classmates. And coming to REC was the first kind of egalitarian, multicultural, multilinguistic, talent-based or merit-based institutional experience for me. And uh, it really opened my mind to a lot of different ways of thinking. In fact, uh, though I had studied some Hindi and passed some exams, uh, I couldn't speak at all till I came here. And since half my classmates were from outside Tamil Nadu, and many of them were not that fluent in English, I actually learned to speak Hindi when I was here, just as a way of broadening my horizons. What is very interesting today is the wide range of fields of industries from which these distinguished alumni have uh, been chosen or uh, honored. And I think it goes to show you that some things transcend boundaries of sectors, of countries, of cultures, some attitude, some perseverance, some talent, some approach to life actually is sustainable across uh, many different aspects of industry or many different countries. I think nothing is more kind of validating than my own experience. When I came back to Lehman Brothers, uh, to India as an expatriate with Lehman Brothers, I expanded the recruitment pool. Till then we had been recruiting only in the IITs and IIMs. And I, a staunch believer in diversity, expanded the recruitment pool to include other institutions to have a different kind of mindset and to increase the ratio of women in the intake class. And so I think I came here in 2007 and ran a uh, few rounds of recruiting and we offered five or six people jobs. All of them took it because at that time, in 2007, I think it was the highest paying job on campus. That was when banking paid more than tech, unlike today. I think it was something like 14 or 15 lakhs a year starting pay back in 2007. Of course, what happened was that within uh, one year, Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy, at least for the holding company. And I remember telling all the people who I had recruited, 70 or 80 people across IITs, IIMs, you know, uh, St. Stephen's, LR, LSR, SRCC, and MIT. I said, we picked you because you were the best. Institutions come and go. I am experiencing this when I'm 40 or 42, and it will still not kind of burn me out. I'll still have a good career after this. But for you, you're experiencing it so young, it will actually strengthen you, and you'll go on to have brilliant careers. And I'm happy to say that time has proven me exactly right. Every single one of the people I recruited that year have gone on to have brilliant careers in, in other industries, in other continents, in finance, in hedge funds, in banks, in consulting companies. So the kind of values, the culture, the work ethic, the approach to life we learn here 
is certainly uh, very resilient. I should say that success can be measured many different ways. Uh, some people are driven by wealth, some people by, uh, you know, scientific achievement and so forth. But in my own view, uh, the true mark of success is when you start thinking about some variable beyond self-interest, about giving back in some way, about helping others in some way, when you have redeemed yourself beyond the 100% pull of self-interest in some avenue, it doesn't have to be public life, then you can consider yourself truly successful is my view of the world. So on that uh, basis, I'm very grateful that I've been successful enough to come back after professional careers doing many relatively selfless public service. And I'm very thankful to the founders of this institution, the faculty that taught me, my seniors who paved the path before me, my contemporaries who are my friends and guides, and all those who helped me progress beyond self-interest to where I am today. Thank you very much again. And I will use this award as motivation to redouble my efforts uh, in public service. Thank you.